Yeah, welcome back to the program on The Breakfast. It's Today in History now. And today in history, we're talking about Wuhan. It's the Chinese city where coronavirus uh, was first discovered. And the big issue was that on the 22nd of January 2020, Wuhan was basically locked down. I mean, the government sent out a notice saying everybody needs to stay at home. All outbound flights, all trains, public transport system would all be shut down. This was a city of about 11 million people and it was just entering one of its busiest travel periods. But hundreds of millions uh, were supposed to travel outside China and across uh, China, increasing the risk of transmission for the virus. But then that was when the government just discovered that COVID-19 could spread through human contact, through kissing, through coughing, through physical contact anyway. So they were basically locked down and uh, fever scanners were set up at cities, train station, airports, and officials checked temperatures of drivers at highway checkpoints, while outbound tour groups were banned from leaving the city. President Xi Jinping gave his first public direction to officials to work with international authorities and share information more openly. And that's when uh, the commission also noted that the virus has been treated as a class A disease, which means authorities can quarantine patients and put affected areas on lockdown. And we know what happened shortly after, you know, Wuhan locked down. Uh, China began to lock down other cities and the rest of the world followed suit. And Nigeria, we saw that, you know, we locked down the country. The federal government announced this end of uh, February. That's after we recorded our own first case, February 27th. Yes. And uh, yeah, some parts, some parts of the world are still under lockdown and the pandemic a is lot, still... A lot needs to be learned, you know, about how China handled their coronavirus um, um, pandemic. How they respond you know, immediately. The response, yes. Um, they, you know, have a totally different, you know, way of government. Um, so their laws might be a little more strict or, you know, might be a little harder. But, I mean, compared to America, where people can actually say, oh, we are anti-maskers and we don't want to wear masks and you can't force us to wear masks. Oh, that COVID-19 um, is not real. Yeah, exactly. I mean, even, even, you know, those who, even aside the conspiracy theories, you know, there's, you know, people in the U.S. who believe that, you know, that you cannot, you know, force them to wear masks. Um, you know, you're, you're infringing on their people rights. People who are even protesting and things in like, public, Exactly, yes. you know, against wearing masks. Um, so that's two different societies. Uh, but Wuhan, from what you just, you just shared now, you know, got into a lockdown, you know, this day, uh, 2020. And, you know, it really just tells about what, immediate steps that they needed to take at that time. Um, many other countries across the world delayed, you know, got, you know, it, 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 you let it get really, really worse before they eventually got into lockdowns. Well, I'm just saying there's a lot that we need to learn. Yes. There's, you know, still the part where people are still trying to find out the truth about the origin of, of the coronavirus itself, if China is telling the truth about where, when it started and how fast it spread and all of that. Uh, but we'll get there, hopefully, you know, as investigations occurred. I remember that, you know, not long ago, a WHO team was sent to China yes. uh, to start investigations Examinate into the their origin. response, yes. Um, so we'll figure that out. But it was on this day that the very first official lockdown started in Wuhan, China. Now, let's talk about the United States. The um, inauguration of the 46th president of the United States happened two days ago. But on this day in the year 1973, the 36th president of the United States, Lyndon Baines Johnson, died. Um, he has a very similar uh, political story to Good Luck Abella Jonathan, and this is why. Because he also was vice president uh, under um, JFK. Um, he was vice president while John F. Kennedy was president between 1961 to 1963. And he became president after JFK was killed. John F. Kennedy was killed. So the only difference between him and Good Luck Jonathan is that um, his um, president then wasn't, you know, was killed. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, was killed. But here, you know, he died of uh, um, health issues. Um, I'm talking about Yara Dua now. But anyway, so he became president uh, between 1963 and 1969. Unfortunately for him, he didn't win re-election. Um, he was defeated and uh, Richard Nixon eventually took over uh, from him in uh, 1960, 1969, I believe. Um, he became president after JFK's assassination. I spoke about that already. Um, Lyndon Baines Johnson, very popular, was born in Texas and worked as a teacher before winning election into the U.S. House of Reps in 1937. 
Um, he was known mostly for his legislation to expand civil rights, um, which was very unexpected, and also because he also helped millions and millions of Americans rise above poverty. Um, he, of course, went back to his ranch after losing his um, re-election bid um, and um, died four years later in 1973. Um, and so, you know, he's, he's, he's very, very popular because, you know, I, 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 most times, or mostly during his... Um, time as president, a lot of people had different expectations of him. And, and so when he took, you know, the laws that he made with regards to civil rights, it was, you know, shocking for a lot of people. And he achieved a lot, you know, with, uh, you, know, um, you know, the civil rights movement um, as a white president. He was democratic president, by the way. And there's also other acts that he was able to put into law. The Civil Rights Act in 1968, uh, the Bilingual Education Act in 1968 also, uh, Public Broadcasting Act of 1967, Age Discrimination in Employment Act in 1967, the Freedom of Information Act in 1966, amongst many, many, many others. So it was on this day in 1973 that Lyndon Baines Johnson died. He died of a heart attack, by the way, mm -hmm. and it was said that he was a heavy smoker. Um, he was found unconscious in his uh, living room, in his bedroom in Texas, flown to the hospital, but, you know, pronounced dead uh, by doctors when he got there. So that's it. 2020 and 1973 are the two years we are focusing yes. on today in history. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we are jumping out of here now for a few, few seconds. Yes, indeed. Our next guest is standing by to discuss this very big issue in northern Nigeria. Do stay with us.